Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Nokita. So, to... yes, sir. So today is fifteenth October, twenty twenty, and this is the team codex from CSCB second year. And we would like to present before you a mini a Python coding application that we have designed uh, called the Hover Draw project. So our group leader Shohom Deshwarpar will present before you, and Shohom, uh, you may continue. Thank you, Ankita, for giving this nice intro. So I may further proceed in our project. So here our here are our team members, me. Shreya Kole, Changnik Bray, and Ankita Chaudhary. So our problem has begun. It's begun when the whole world is being impacted by COVID-19, and during that time, the education system was dramatically in a distinctive de decline in their growth. So during that time, teachers have find themselves very difficult to express their teaching to other students because many teachers were unable to communicate with the online education. And also, many of teachers were not familiar with this type of application-based education. So we have tried to develop something which helps teachers to eradicate the use of boards or paper and pen, and makes them makes them only the use of hand and the screen of their laptop and a webcam, by which they can eventually draw in their air and. The figures and systematic diagrams will be just formed in their computer screen. So here is our project. So this project, uh, I may show you some example of my project. So here you can see that. How we are eventually drawing just in the air, and figures are being made, and figures are being made just by hovering over there. So now let us come that how we have built this Python-based application. Basically, we have implemented the use of two. Modules, namely NumPy and OpenCV. OpenCV plays a very vast role over there, by which we are just figuring your, figuring the hand of the user, and then masking the hand to white and the other background objects to black. By which the computer system sensor just analyzes the movement of the user's hand and then points out the top position of the user hand and then points some eventually colors. Color-based points on the screen, which eventually creates a figure on the screen. So here are some key features. You can use black color, green color, and red color. These three colors are available in our Python application. You can use them and eventually draw on the screen. Also, you can press the Control C button to clear your screen. Also, you can press Control Q to quit the application as well. Thank you. Now we have reached to the conclusion of our project. So uh, the conclusion of our project is uh, that we are actually helping not only our teachers but also to the students. Now they can also ask the doubts in their way. This not only helps for understanding maths and other subjects, but also it helps the uh, teacher to demonstrate the. Uh, demonstrate it because now we don't have board, so now we can uh, 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 take the help of this uh, code for using the board. So now we, uh, so it's actually a very helpful code for us. Yes, so we have concluded this. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Can you show a little bit of coding so that? We can be convinced that you show. You can show. Go to this and show a little bit of coding. You don't have to. Yeah, uh, just have to show the uh, some lines of code. And where yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was just going to tell you that yeah. I was taking your permission for this. Yeah, yeah. Please. So, no permission. Please go ahead. Very good job. Excellent. Show me the code. 
Yes, I'm reading the code. Here, sir, here is our code of this application. Uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, you're audible. You're visible yes. and audible. Yes. yes. Okay, sir. Okay. So here, here is the code of our Python application and with with search permission, can I explain some yeah, main please. aspects of the code, sir? Please, please. Okay, sir. So uh, the main code of ours just lies in this video loop. It's pretty silly to know that all the code, all the stuff is just been done in this video loop. Without this, the whole application is just uh, not useful. So here you can see there is a function named hand detection. So what this function does is just takes the image from your webcam and then just detects your hand and then whitens your hand to white and other background objects to black. So it uses some of the functions of very useful functions of OpenCV. So that are so it uses convert color to convert the color to HSV and to dilate it. It uses the dilate function or dilate method to mark the image to white and then eventually we can detect it by the further function which I just going to discuss. Okay, so over you. here you can see there's another function yeah that's good yes, okay don't uh, okay can we stop here thank you very much